then here is mathematics question based upon random variables and their covariance now we know that for a random variable x its variance can be given as in terms of its expectation as expectation of x squared minus expectation of x the whole squared or we can also write this thing as expectation of x minus mu the whole square and we know that what is mu mu is nothing but the expectation of x itself so this thing can be further written as expectation of x minus expectation of x the whole square so that is how we write the variance of a random variable x and in the same way we can write covariance between two variables x and y as expectation of x y minus expectation of x multiplied with expectation of y and in the same way when we combine these two things together then it becomes expectation of x minus mu or you can say expectation of x and this thing multiplied with y minus expectation of y and expectation of this whole thing so that is how we can mention the covariance of x so now let us have a look at these two statements and we need to determine which of them is or are correct in the first statement we can see that the left hand side is nothing but what we just saw the formula for covariance so it is nothing but covariance of x comma y the whole square that is the left hand side of first statement and if we try to relate the covariance and the variance then we have the relation as uh, we know the formula for correlation coefficient that can be written as r equal to covariance of x comma y upon root over of variance of x variance of y so if we square this whole equation together then we get something as r squared variance of x variance of y is same as covariance of x comma y the whole square and now we know that this correlation coefficient r that lies between minus 1 and 1 so we can say that if we square that then r square that will lie between 0 and 1 itself so if we remove this thing and convert this into an inequality then that would become covariance of x comma y the whole square is less than or equal to variance of x variance of y so now using this equation this inequality we have to answer the two statements now coming back to the statement one whose left hand side as we saw is the covariance of x comma y the whole square and what about its right hand side it is written as variance of x variance of y and the inequality used is greater than so we just saw that it is incorrect if it were less than or equal to then we would be considering that hence the statement one becomes incorrect now coming to statement two it is saying that covariance of x comma y it is the same formula which we have just derived expectation of x minus e of x y minus e of y but the difference here is that they are using the modulo symbol which is not true because we can have the value of x minus expectation of x to be negative in some cases and if we take the modular sign over here then those cases get disturbed so this is the correct formula which we had just derived instead of modulo symbol they should use the simple multiplication of the two so this formula also becomes incorrect this is not how we calculate the covariance so both the statements one and two here are incorrect and hence we'll be saying that option d is true saying both s1 and s2 are false